Hey everybody, Jake here from FullTimeFilmmaker.com. Today I'm going to show you four easy ways to motion track in Adobe After Effects. And those four ways are single point tracking, dual point tracking, corner pin tracking, and attaching objects to walls. So let's dive right in. Starting with single point tracking and we'll be tracking text or objects onto a shot. And we've also included all the test footage we're using available for download in the description below. So if you want to download that and follow along, it's completely free. Click the link below. So first, open up your clip. Next, add any text or objects or files that you want to attach to the final clip. We'll just add some text that says the castle, but you can use any PNGs or video files or graphics that you want. Next, right click and hit new null object. And this layer will be the layer that captures your motion track. Select your video footage layer, go to animation, track motion, and it should pull up the tracker tab over here if it's not there already. Once you click that, the tracker tool will appear on your screen. The outside box is the search region, which tells After Effects where the element will be found. And the inside box is the feature region that defines the region that you want to track. The small plus sign is the attach point for the tracker. And you're going to want to pick a part of your image with good contrast so that the tracker can work efficiently. So we're going to choose this little detail right here here. There's good contrast of highlights and shadows, and that's kind of the center point of our image here. Again, because there's a lot of depth in this image, there's a lot of layers. If we would have picked a tracking point up front, it would have tracked the motion of this fence, but because we're wanting to attach the text to the building, we're bringing a part on the building to track to. Make sure your motion source is on your video footage, current track, tracker one, track type, transform, leave position checked, and now it's time to analyze the footage. You can analyze forward or backward or one frame at a time because our tracking point is pretty clean, we will just analyze forward and watch it as it goes. As it's analyzing, keep an eye on the tracker and watch for any drifting that may occur. And if there is any drifting, make sure you adjust the tracking point manually so that the tracking point stays in the same spot of the image the entire time. This isn't a very long clip, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, we'll scrub through it, make sure the tracking point analyzes the footage. And as you can see, it's placed keyframes of the tracking point at the start and end points. We'll just scrub through and it looks like the track worked beautifully. Again, if you do have drifting occur, just manually adjust each tracking point to stay on the same spot every time. But if you choose a good spot with good contrast, you shouldn't have that issue too often. Next step, you wanna to go to your tracker, hit edit target, and make sure that the layer is set to the null layer. That way we can parent the track onto any object we want. Hit okay, and then hit apply. Apply dimensions, you want this set to X and Y, unless you have a perfectly even movement on your X axis or Y axis. But for most cases, X and Y is the one you wanna go with. Hit okay, and now that track is paired to the null layer. Then you're going to grab your text layer or object layer and grab the circular wavy thing it's called a pick whip and you want to attach this to your null layer and now the null layer track is parented to your object so if we scrub through here, you can watch our text. It is perfectly synced up with the track. And then all that's left to do is scale and adjust your text to match it the way you want. We'll raise this a little bit higher, rotate it a little bit more, and maybe scale it up a little bit bigger too as well. Okay, so there you have it. There is the text motion tracked onto our subject there. Moving on to dual point tracking. Dual point tracking is the same process for single point tracking, but now you're able to not only track position, but also scale and rotation. So we'll follow the exact same steps here. We'll use a different composition. We're going to use our full-time filmmaker logo here, drag it on top, I'm going to hide it so we can see the image better. Again, right click, hit new, null object, click on the building stabilize, go to our tracker and hit track motion. But this time we're checking the boxes rotation and scale. And that will give us a second track point to grab from because now we're not just tracking one point, we're tracking the scale and rotation of two points. Again, we want to set our tracking points on positions of good contrast and and also points that help show the scale and rotation of our subject. So in this case, we have a building, a pretty straight line. We wanna capture the front facing wall of this building and so that our text attaches to the building in the same dimension. So luckily we have a lot of good contrast points on this building. We're actually gonna choose the corner of this window here. My worry with these spots is that there's so many of them it might get confused. So we'll choose this corner here of this top window and then also the corner of this top window because they are on the same plane. Beautiful. Once again, we're gonna hit analyze forward. We'll see what happens watching both points. Again, if there is any drifting, stop the track and adjust them and finish. Let's scrub through and watch our track. It looks pretty solid to me. Once again, hit edit target, apply to no layer, hit OK, hit apply, make sure it's on X and Y axis and hit OK. Then to parent the track to the layer we want, we're going to grab the layer we want, which is our full time filmmaker logo here. Grab the pick whip, drag it on top of the no layer and release. And as we play it back, as you can see, the full time filmmaker logo is 
is being scaled and changed to match the building. However, it isn't done yet. The last step is to adjust your object to match the track. And the best way to do that is to turn on your 3D layer. And if they don't show up here, click on toggle switches and modes. This cube is your 3D layer. So with this selected, you wanna click on 3D layer. And now you can adjust the position and scale and rotation and dimension of your layer to better match your footage. Now, once we play it back, it is beautifully tracked onto our building. Moving on to number three, corner pin tracking. Now there are many ways to replace a screen. A more effective way is using the Mocha plugin in After Effects. But for our purposes today, for a very simple, easy screen replacement, we're going to be using the corner pin tracking in After Effects. So same process with a few minor changes. We do not need a null layer for this. We'll be applying the track onto the clip itself. With your clip selected, go to your tracker and hit track motion. And for your track type, you're going to change this to perspective corner pin. And this will give you four different tracking points for each corner of your object. Again, this works best with phones or billboards or things of that nature. And like we've been doing before, adjust your tracking points and put them on each corner of your screen here. Again, with good contrast, we have good green and good black. Again, you don't need a green screen for this. Don't get too hung up on your search region and feature region. As long as they cover a basic amount of the corner you want to be tracking, you should be good like so. Once your corners are pinned, hit analyze. Make sure your playhead is at the front of your clip and hit analyze forward. Again, watch for drifting. This is a 10 second clip and the phone moves around a lot. So watch for drifting. If there is drifting, adjust that point to stay on the corner. Looks like we're doing pretty good so far. And again, if you want to download this clip to practice on, we've included it in the link below. It's completely free. So just head there and you can download this free clip. Okay, now we're going to scrub through and make sure the tracking points stay on the phone. And it looks pretty solid. Not bad. Okay, then you want to import your photo or video they're going to be using to replace the screen into your composition here. For us, we have just a screenshot of our YouTube channel from a mobile phone. Go back to your green screen clip on the track, hit edit target, and make sure that the layer is set to the screenshot or your new object or composition that you want to apply the track to. Hit OK, then hit apply. And if we play it back, now our screen is beautifully tracked onto the phone. However, it doesn't look very realistic. We still see the green screen, so it's not perfect. So easy fix. All you have to do is go to composition and adjust the scale and rotation the way you want it to. And we're just going to make it a little bit bigger to cover up the screen like so. And then all that's left to really sell the composition is matching your composition with the overall image. We're not going to go into that right now, but essentially just adding some different layers, some color correction, some blur, some screen brightness, uh, some screen smudges, essentially just selling the composition will greatly help sell this image. And there you have a very easy way to corner pin in After Effects. Moving on to our fourth and last way to motion track in After Effects, attaching objects to walls. Now this is probably my favorite and probably the most fun track to do. So open your clip, go into your tracker, and with your clip selected, instead of hitting track motion, this time we're hitting track camera. And what's essentially doing is After Effects is going through your clip and analyzing each frame and placing tracking points on the walls and ceilings and floors to help analyze your camera's movement in subspace. So it's trying to replicate my camera's movement from when I shot this clip digitally into After Effects. And it might take a while depending on your clip size. So once it's done, it'll place thousands of little colored markers on your clip that show you different points of your clip that it's tracked. And if you put your mouse over those clips, it'll triangulate a position of a red target to show you an example of where your composition will be placed. So as you can see, this red target will show us how it would look if we placed a composition on that part of the image by triangulating three different points of the track. And so then all you have to do is pick a target where you want to attach your composition to. I love this big open wall. There's thousands of little tracking points on here. So it should be a really nice and even track. We'll pick right here, right click and create solid and camera, which is just allowing us to create a, our own composition that will stick to that wall. It'll default to a green or blue box, but we can change all that, which we're about to. And then scrub through the composition to double check that it is matching. As you can see, it looks great. Even down there when you can barely see it. Obviously, we'd have to mask Nate out of the shot, but we're just going to be using these first 10 seconds or so, and it looks awesome. So now let's edit that composition. Okay, so come into your project here. So right click on the track solid, pre-compose it because we want to be able to edit the content without changing the track. We'll call this composition one, leave the top one checked, hit OK, and it will open this composition one. And now we have this green box, our composition. 
and this can be whatever you want it to be. And it doesn't have to be a square. You can change that to a circle or nine by 16 or 16 by nine, whatever you want. I'm going to delete the track solid one, which is just a placeholder. We don't want a big green box. I'm gonna replace it with something I would want. And I do not want a square. So I'm gonna adjust my composition settings to be instead of 2160 by 2160, I'm gonna do 3840 by 2160 to be 16 by nine. Hit okay. And then you can import whatever you want to be in this animation for me. I'm gonna use a little shout out to myself, Jake Weisler Films, my Instagram account, by going in my compositions folder and grabbing my logo here. And it's kind of, it's black, so you can't really see it. So we're going to scale it up to fill the frame, like so. Again, it's on a transparent background, so you can't really tell right now. But if we go back to our original composition, as you can see, my composition appears on the wall where the placeholder was, but it's really small. So we're gonna change it up a little bit. You're gonna go to your transformation tab of the composition. So we'll start with scale. We're gonna bring it up a lot like so. We want it to be nice and big. Rotation looks pretty good. And then you wanna change your blending mode to whatever best matches your scene. You can really do whatever you want. It's kind of just a creative preference. You can use overlay or just change your opacity. For this, we're gonna change our opacity just a little bit so it kind of blends in with the wall. And we'll scrub through it. As you can see, it appears in the wall and disappears. But that is it for today's video. Those are our four easy ways to motion track in Adobe After Effects. You guys, we hope you enjoyed it. Again, links to download all this footage is in the description below below. So go ahead and head there and download it if you want to try this out for yourself. And you guys, we're only just scratching the surface here of what we teach inside of Full Time Filmmaker. We have an entire After Effects section. So if you're interested in learning more about After Effects or even just more about filmmaking, we have over 600 tutorials inside of our online course, Full Time Filmmaker. Over 20,000 students who are all learning how to become professional filmmakers. Whether you want to shoot weddings or real estate or just learn more about editing in Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, or even Final Cut Pro X or Da Vinci. We have tutorials for all of it. So if you want to join our online course, Full-Time Filmmaker, we'll put that link below as well. Or you can check out our free one hour filmmaking training where we teach you our top 10 secrets to achieving cinematic shots. Comment below what you want to see next. And if you have any further questions, please let us know.